Biota Basket for Gut Health. Local regenerative growers breed beneficial microbes in the soil. They enter the plants and then our gut to form our gut brain, which regulates our appetite so we don't overeat and get fat and sick. We all have a problem that in the last hundred years, the human population trebled. And in the hundred years before that, it trebled again. One reason the population exploded was our success in overcoming infectious diseases, which killed four out of every five babies born. On a geological timescale, in a flash, we have gone from a population of under a billion to over eight billion, and we all have to eat. The earth has not got any bigger, and virtually every piece of available land suitable for food production has been used. We thought we had solved any food crisis by improving the efficiency of food production, which has amazingly increased faster than the dramatic increase in population. We produce enough food overall to feed the entire global population. There are people starving because we're not good at creating functioning, equitable societies, which contrast badly with our superb skills at developing technologies. But progress is typically two steps forward and one step back as we overcome snags with our new technology. The snag with modern food is that it may be hygienic, triple wrapped in plastics, but it is inert and lacking the microbes which form our gut brain, which regulates our appetite. So we overeat and get fat and sick from chronic diseases. Overweight, diabetes, heart attacks and dementia caused by the wrong fat in the wrong place stemming from overeating. Why do we overeat? Because of the lack of beneficial microbes in our gut that regulates our appetite. Modern food may be hygienic, but it is deficient in these essential beneficial microbes. As these microbes live in our food and feed our gut, which controls our appetite, we call this gut-brain food. The good news is that we know how to breed these beneficial microbes. We have the technology, which we are very good at, but lack the skills in creating societies which work for the benefit of the community. These beneficial microbes in gut brain food have a very short life. They may appear to be a stable population, but they are continuously breeding and dying, what we like to call dynamic equilibrium. This means we need to create a new industry of local growers breeding the beneficial microbes that go into gut brain food. This is not a technological problem. We know how to breed beneficial microbes. It is a social problem, changing the way our society works so the technology we develop works for the benefit of the community and not just a few mega corporations. The amazing increase in food production has in part come from centralised production with just a few mega corporations managing the bulk of food production, whereas breeding beneficial microbes requires a decentralised local industry of small scale growers. This is not in itself a major problem. There are many growers, both organic and regenerative farmers, who have the skills to grow the plants that contain the beneficial microbes. They exist right now. We just have to change the way the system works to take advantage of their skills and dedication. Changing the system is a difficult challenge, not developing new technologies. There are already highly skilled and dedicated growers who would welcome the opportunity to help their local community fight the battles against this modern curse of the epidemic of chronic diseases. They may be dedicated growers, but they still need to pay their bills and it costs money and time to set up gut brain food production facilities and for that they need paying customers. I know how to promote the benefits of eating gut brain food to the public who would certainly be willing to pay for gut brain food so they don't get fat and sick and have their legs chopped off from diabetes. But what is the point if there's no local growers where they can buy their gut brain food? We have a classic chicken and egg situation. How to break that deadlock? Here's how and it is pretty simple. I set up on my website a registration page where growers can register to say they would be willing to set up gut brain facilities 
as long as they could be assured there were enough local people willing to buy gut brain food. Simultaneously, people who are not keen on being fat and sick, not that anxious to have a foot amputated from diabetes, can register. Then I can start the process of linking growers with consumers, and us humans can get back to what we are good at, analysing problems and finding solutions.